class and then we learned about the Spanish conquistadors. Oh yeah, one of them even came to the South Texas. I think his name was Cabeza de Vaca. Wait, what was his full name? Alva, his full name was Alvar Nunez Cabeza de Vaca. Oh yeah, that's one of his stories were in here. Oh yeah, let's check it out. Vaca joined the Spanish army as an adult and fought with distinction at the Battle of Ravenna in Italy in 1512. His military service to the Spanish crown and later during a brief civil war in Spain, May 1520 through April 1521, won him appointment as treasurer and first lieutenant in the 1527 expedition of Pamphilo Nar Narvaez, which departed Spain in June 1527 with five ships. Hey, is that Cabeza de Vaca? The Conquistador is getting ready to go to the New World. Cabeza de Vaca must have traveled on boats on boats like these for months across the Atlantic Ocean. Come here, girls. I departed Spain in June. 1527, under my leader Panfilo de Navares with 600 men and five ships. I was second in command of the expedition that the King of Spain had sent us to explore and settle the new world between Florida and the river Rio de las Palmas in northern Mexico. This is located 200 miles south of Brownsville, Texas. The only problem is that the maps of your time look different than the maps of my time. The Spanish Empire believed that the distance between Florida and northern Mexico was about 35 miles. In reality, it was 1,500 miles. Against my recommendation, Panfilo separated the expedition into two groups. We were only about 300 men. He wanted me to lead the men on land while he followed us in the boats to find a good harbor. We became separated and the boats were destroyed by a hurricane and those on the boats died. Now the survivors and I made a plan to reach Mexico where there were other Spanish settlements. We made boats out of logs and our clothes and animal skins. The boats did not last while we followed the coast to Mexico. We were shipwrecked in what is now Galveston, Texas, and many did not survive. I was then transformed from a conquistador to a trader and a healer. I began to trade many things like shells, pearls, animal skins, bones, and woven baskets, and to speak the language of the many Indian tribes around the areas of Texas, like the Coalitecans. We traveled the areas around the coast of Texas, sometimes going days without eating. We ate nuts and berries, and sometimes even roots. After four years of being a slave, only four of us survived, and we began to travel for the next eight years to the west. We crossed areas of now called Texas, the American Southwest, and Northern Mexico until we met up with slave traders in Sinaloa, Mexico. They took us back to Mexico City and from there I returned to Spain to tell my tale. Hey look, these must be the people that Cabeza de Vaca encountered in South Texas. Oh yeah, these people are the people that Cabeza de Vaca 
I believe these people see and hear better and have keener senses than any other in the world. They are great in hunger, thirst, and cold as if they were made for the endurance of these more than other men. Here are some of the things Cabeza de Vaca traded. There are arrowheads, bones, shells, and mat fragments. Thank you, Museum of South Texas.